Hey Pixels! Welcome to my channel if you're new. So this week's video is going to be a chatty one because I'm going to be talking about how I got into web design and graphic design. So, you know, grab a cup of tea, grab some water, and let's jump right in. Okay, so my first memory of how I got into web design is by playing Neopets. Yes, Neopets. Neopets is like the foundation of who I am. <laughs> I have made an impact in my life. Um, the most amazing game ever. Uh, yeah, Neopets when I was a kid, for me that was like the foundation of web design. And why it's my foundation is because I loved Neopets so much that I wanted to create my own fan site. <laughs> I'd see a lot of people would have fan sites for Neopets and I wanted to emulate that. You know, using trusty Google to look up ways to get a free website. That's how I kind of made my fan pages. And yeah, just from doing that, it really got me um, very interested in graphics and in web design. As I was creating my Neopets fan page, I would go to other sites to get graphics. And um, there were some really popular sites at the time that would have just a ton of free graphics that you can use on your own personal website. A website that stands out to me is Dolly Crave. Huge shout out to Dolly Crave. You literally made my childhood too. I use sites like Dolly Crave to get a bunch of graphics. I use things that are called glitters. So these are like graphics that look like they're glittering. Um, yeah, so I would use things called dollies on my website and um, you know, just to make it pretty. and. To put those graphics on your website, you have to use um, HTML code, so I'd use like the image tag. By doing that, it exposed me to HTML because, you know, that image tag, it is a line of HTML and um, using dollies and just making my own websites and um, getting graphics from other sites like Dolly Crave is what introduced me to HTML code. So, you know, I guess for several years I was kind of just making my own website using HTML code and over time I was also exposed to Photoshop. So by that time I was using Photoshop and I wanted to know how to do my own glitters. I would find ways and tutorials online like what my website and my YouTube channel is now where there's tutorials. That's how I got into um, learning what I could teach now and um, I also again I want to create my own website like Dolly Craves like I definitely never got as popular as Dolly Crave just so I can say I did it I would kind of like I tried to create my own like graphics website but just by doing that I learned how to do it at least and um, yeah so that's pretty much how I got into coding um, starting my own blog exopixel.com as you guys know and just this YouTube channel I think that's what allowed me to hone my skills really so it can be applied in a more professional way because a lot of what I did was just personal. I never like published it for the world to see and you know people are actually seeing my work. Really have to make sure I'm doing good work and it's more professional and that's definitely helped me um, I guess get to where I am now. So till this day I'm still learning, I'm still like improving I guess day by day as I'm doing it because I do do it professionally. I do web design, graphic design, and um, even video and media professionally. So um, just by doing that, I'm learning even more. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. You guys know I answer all of your questions and I do respond to comments. Um, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this video too. Um, I'll see you guys in next week's video. 